Hey guys and welcome once again to another Magic the Gathering deck tech. My name is Daniel and this is my Red Rush deck. So this is a uh, standard legal 60 card deck. Uh, it has got, uh, it's a budget deck as well, pretty much. It's got two mythics and two rares, uh, neither of which are particularly expensive. Um, especially if you pull them in the pack like quite early, like I've done a couple of times. Um, but yeah, let's get going. So we're going to start off with... We've got four Acheron Crusaders. It's a one drop one one with heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, put a one one red soldier creature token onto the battlefield, and it has haste. So if you can get this out turn one, and then turn two get another one out, uh, you can be also targeting it, um, and getting tokens out to attack more and more each turn. Wow, this is the wrong color to sleep. That shows how much I don't use this deck. <laughs> I don't use this because it normally wins and it gets a bit boring when it wins, but that's just against my friends as well. So uh, We've got a Titan Strength. It's a 1 drop, plus 3, plus 1 until end of turn, instant, and then Scry 1. So the Scry is pretty nice, but plus 3, plus 1 is such a nasty combat trick. Dragon Mantle, uh, I believe we have three of them. So it's a 1 drop, Enchant Creature, when it ends the battlefield, draw a card. That's quite good. It triggers heroic as well, and then you can give dragon breathing to them, so it gets plus one, plus zero for one red, and that's stacked. That you can do that multiple times. Next, we've got uh, oh, we've got another titan strength. I thought I had more than one in there. Uh, we've got a coordinated assault. Uh, so it's one one drop up to two target creatures each get plus one, plus zero, and first strike and turn the turn. Again, a pretty nasty combat trick, triggering off heroic quite a lot as well with uh, two target creatures. That's pretty nice. Then we've got two Ordeal of Perforces, uh, two drop enchantment. When it, whenever an enchanted creature attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Then if it has three or more 1-1 one, one counters on it, sacrifice Ordeal of Perforous. When you sacrifice Ordeal of Perforous, it deals three damage type creature or player. So good removal while making your creatures bigger and bigger. Then we've got Everflame Eidolon, uh, two drop 1-1 one, one, or bestow for three. And again, fire breathing and the enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. So fire breathing is uh, the... Tap one red and plus one plus zero. Then we've got Madcap skills, one of probably one of the best uh, commons I know of from Gate Crash. Uh, yes, yeah, Great Cap. Yeah, that's Gate Crash. Uh, so it's a two drop enchantment. Enchant creature. It, enchanted creature gets plus three plus zero and can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. That is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. If you give it on something that if you give it something that has first strike as well, it's just. I I just I just can't I just don't even I I just can't even. Next we have two rise to the challenges, uh, two drop instant speed type which gets plus two plus zero and first strike and turn a turn. Riot Piker, uh, how many of them we got two? Oh, and we have got another ordeal of Perforous. See, I'm terrible at uh, organizing deck decks. So the Riot Piker is the two one two drop first strike attacks each turn if able. It's Goblin, it's no surprise. It's pretty good first strike. Although it will eventually die from bigger creatures, it's still pretty nasty. Especially if you go with something like Fire Breathing, because then it's like a first strike 7-1 or something like that. Then we've got Spearpoint uh, Oread. I think I've probably got a couple of... Nope. Okay, so one Spearpoint Oread. It's a 3-drop 2-2 two, two first strike or a 5-1 five, uh, five red 2-2-2 two, plus two, plus two first strike uh, enchantment. So uh, quite expensive to bestow, but still it's a 2-2 two, two first strike for 3. Then we've got two Minotaur Skull Cleavers. Uh, so it's a three drop, two, two with haste. And when it ends the battlefield, it gets plus two, plus zero to then turn, which can decimate people. It, it can be ridiculous. Then uh, the the first rares are two Hammer of Perforces. Uh, three drop, creature control have haste and sacrifice the land to put a three, three colorless golem enchantment artifact creature token onto the battlefield. That was a mouthful. <laughs> then we've got Perforces Emissary. Uh, four drop three three can't be blocked set by two or more creatures and um, bestow for seven. Fanatic of Mogus, uh four two for four when it enters the battlefield it deals damage to each opponent equal to your devotion to red. So sort of like a red Gary but with one devotion to, for himself. Then we've got two Perforces. Uh so this is the money card in the set in the uh deck. So he's a four drop six five indestructible legendary enchantment god creature. As long as your devotion is red is less than 5, he isn't a creature. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, he deals 2 damage to each opponent, which can get pretty ridiculous. And for 3, creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0 until end turn. So 
universal fire breathing, which you can understand why it's so expensive. Then we have three stone shock giants, uh, five, four for five, uh, and monstrosity for eight, and monstrosity three for eight. Uh, and when it ends, when it becomes monstrous creatures without flying, your opponent's control can't block this turn. But hopefully you'd have killed your opponent by turn five. That's the uh, idea of this deck. And then we've got 24 basic clans there. So uh, we'll just go over this again. So the main creatures are probably uh, turn three plays. So you've got the four Acro Crusaders, the Riot Pikers, uh, the Eidolons with Fire Briefing, the Minotaurs, and Perforus, and then you've got the Giants. So uh, it's a very, very low cost deck. Um, also, I'll just point out some of the cards I swapped out for Perforus and the Hammers, and I was also missing a card from this deck. So uh, one of them will be another Stone Shock Giant, one of them will be another Rage of Perforus, and one of them would be a sigiled skink for that 2-1 uh, scry every time it attacks. Which is, uh, I think it's alright. Some people don't like it, but I think it's quite cool. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video, which I don't know when it will be. And I don't know what it will be, but hopefully it will be so good. Actually, it might be a binder update. I think I'll do a binder update. So, I'll see you then, guys. Bye.